Hi everybody. Assalamualaikum and hi to everyone. We are from Apple's group. So and today we will be presenting about strategy formulation process for Apple. Before I start our presentation, let me introduce our presenter first. So the first presenter is me, Munira. Second presenter is Dr. Shafi'i himself. The third presenter will be Anis. The fourth presenter will be Iza. And the fifth presenter will be Kubi Sim. The next one will be Tan Chame and Vanessa. The next one we have Arif. The next one Nade. And then Faiz. And then we have Husna. And we have Madi as the last presenter. Okay, we'll start off with background of Apple. Apple is a multinational technology company with its headquarters located in Cupertino, California. Apple is one of the big four technology company together with Google, Facebook and Amazon. Apple develop, design and sell products such as consumer electronic, computer software and online services. The most popular product of Apple is iPhone, iPad, the tablet and MacBook, also the smartwatch. The next one is vision and mission. The vision is that Apple believed that it existed on the surface of this earth to make great products and that's not changing. And for the mission is to bring the best user experience possible to customer through innovative hardware, software and services. Apple designed Macs, which are the best personal computers in the world. Apple has reinvented the mobile phone with its revolutionary iPhone and App Store and it's defining the future of mobile media and computing device with iPad. With this, Apple has included all the elements needed in the mission and vision. Basically, the strategic formulation process consists of three stages. The first stage is input stage, second matching stage, and the last one is decision stage. Right? For stage one, which is input stage, there are three components. We call it external factor evaluation or EFE matrix. And then we have competitive profile matrix or CPM. And the last one is internal factor evaluation or IFE matrix. Alright. So stage one summarize the basic input information needed to formulate strategies. Okay. The input tools require strategies to quantify subjectivity during this stage. Uh, therefore, good intuitive judgment is always needed in determining appropriate weights and ratings because even small difference in quantifying is significant. Stage 2 in strategic formulation is called the matching stage. This stage focuses on generating alternative strategies by aligning key external and internal factors. So in this stage, there are some techniques called SWOT analysis or strength, weakness, opportunities and threat analysis, strategic positioning and action evaluation, or space, Boston Consulting Group or BCG matrix, internal external matrix or IE, and grand strategy matrix GSM. Usually the external and internal relationships are more complex and hence the matching requires multiple alignment for each strategy generated. Successful matching of key external and internal factors depends on those underlying key factors of being specific, actionable and divisional to the extent possible. After you have done first and second stage, now is the final stage which is stage 3 called the decision stage. In this decision stage, we use quantitative strategic planning matrix or QSPM as the strategy. So QSPM uses the input information in stage 1 
to objectively evaluate alternative strategies identified in stage 2. Participants could individually rate strategies on a 1 to 4 scale as to desirability and then sum the ratings from all participants so that a prioritized list of the best strategies could be achieved. Stage 1 Okay, so let's move to the first metric under stage 1 which is EFE metrics. This EFE metric is used to assess current business condition. So, from this metric, we can see whether Apple is able to effectively take advantage of existing opportunity along with the minimizing the external threat. To do this metric, there are five steps, which is first, list all key external factors that we identified in the external audit process. So, for doing Apple case study, we identified 10 opportunities that we can see in the slide and also 10 threats for the next slide. So, step 2 is assign to each factor a weight that range from the not important until 1, the most important. But, make sure that all the weight is all the weight from starting from the opportunities and threat must be equal to 1. Step 3 is assign a rating between 1 and 4 to each external factor to indicate how effectively the firm's current strategy respond to the factor. Number 4, the response is superior. 3 is above the average. 2 is average and rating 1 is poor. So for your information, rating are based on the company whereas weight in, in, in step 2 are industry based. Step 4. After we identify all the rating and weighted, we must multiply each factor weight by its rating to determine a weighted score. And then last step which is we total up everything from the uh, from the threat and opportunities and to determine the total weighted score for Apple. So for the result we can see that Apple total weight score is 2.53 that show it is above average which means that Apple strategy are effective and the company is taking advantage of existing opportunities along with minimizing the potential adverse effect of external threat. So let's move to the internal metrics. Under this internal factor evaluation metric, which is IFE metrics, they help Apple to summarize and evaluate the major strengths and weaknesses in the functional area of business. So, instead of doing this metric is same to the EFE metric that I discussed with you before, but only the difference is we must list 10 strengths and 10 weaknesses. And also, for the rating, uh, the strength must receive 3 and 4, but for the weakness, they only receive one or two. So, for the result for the IFE metric is 2.53. Means that Apple is strong internally to adapt with the opportunity and threat. So, that's all for me. Thank you, Anis, for the information. Now, let's move to the next metric, which is competitive profile metrics. So basically, this CPM is used to identify a firm major competitors in in this case, which is Lenovo and Samsung, and we want to compare in their strength and weaknesses uh, to compare with our Apple strategic position. So basically, this CPM is actually the same as EFE, uh, but the difference is only in CPM. The critical success factors will include both internal and external issue. So we are using the same step with the EFE in which the step one is we have to list down all the key success factors of industry and for Apple uh, case we, we are taking 12 key success factors of the industry and the step two is assign weights to each factor that will range from zero which is not important to one which is the most important but then we have to bear in mind that this all factor must are uh, equal to one and then we will rate uh, each factor 
uh, they will range from the from one to four for all the firms in analysis. So one rating is uh, represent the major weaknesses, while two is uh, shows the minor weaknesses. If uh, three rating is shows the minor strength, whereas for the uh, four rating shows the major strength, and then for the step four. We will calculate the weighted score by multiplying each factor scores by its rating. Five is we will uh, find the total weighted score of all the firms by adding the weighted scores of for each variable. And as we can see from the slide, in Apple cases, uh, the CPM of Apple shows the total weighted score is 2.93. But for Samsung is a uh, 3.52. It shows that Samsung enjoys the strongest competitive position and uh, whereas for Lenovo, it has the net competitive disadvantages because it has the lowest total weighted score than both of Apple and Samsung which is 2.34. Okay. So that's all from uh, stage 1. So basically all the inputs from the uh, stage 1 will be used for the next stage. So that's all from uh, us stage 1. For stage 2 is matching stage, we will utilize the firm's internal strength, weakness, external opportunity and threats to form some strategy in stage 2. So the first technique we would like to introduce is SWOT analysis, in which there are four strategies over here. Strange opportunity strategies, weakness opportunity strategy, strange threats strategy as well as weakness threats strategy. So for SO strategy, the firm will use the internal strength and take advantage of the external opportunity. Firstly, we will recommend Apple to expand its distribution network in global market in order to increase the sales by referring to S9, 07, 08. Since there is an increase in the sales as a strength and also increase in demand and growth rate for the smartphone market, Secondly, we will recommend Apple to increase the R&D effort to improve the present product or launch a new product line by referring to S60406. Since Apple has invested heavily in R&D to produce a quality product and there's an increased market for the tablet as well as the ultrabooks therefore we recommend these strategies to apple thirdly um, apple can increase the customer loyalty through its user-friendly products in order to create customer retention so most of the apple users of customer feel that its products are user-friendly and there's a culture for the users to update their phone at least two years so this is a very good strategy to retain the customer's loyalty and fourthly we will recommend uh, Apple to promote its unique features and applications that can ease the user daily life and gain competitive advantage over its competitors Apple has introduced Apple Pay and has fingerprint techniques whereas for the competitors they have less control over their applications that offer to their customers Last but not least, Apple can offer a slightly lower price and maintain its product quality to increase its market share by referring to S802. Since the Apple products are manufactured in Asia, Apple has a lower cost and thus they can offer a slightly lower price to its customers. Whereas one of the main competitors, which is Samsung, actually price their top products in line with the Apple price. So for WO strategy, the firm can overcome its internal weakness by taking advantage of the external opportunity. Firstly, Apple can continue the aggressive and rapid innovation involved in developing new products such as ultrabooks and tablets to reduce the adverse effect of imitations on revenue. By referring to W1, W7, 04, 06, it is expected that there is increasing market for tablet and ultrabooks which can use to overcome the weakness which is decreasing market share as well as the declining iPad sales. 
and secondly we would recommend Apple to develop several models of smartphones with different price and features in order to meet the customer special needs by referring to W1, W3, O2, O7 actually Samsung which is one of the main competitor priced their top product in line with Apple price and there's an increasing demand for smartphone so we will expect that the new models of smartphone could use to overcome the weakness such as declining market share as well as the problems of customizations of the devices to meet the customer's special needs. Thirdly, Apple can introduce and advertise a tablet in US to gain awareness on its product. By referring to W5 and O4, there's an increasing market for the tablet product and this can overcome the declining sales in the rest of Asia Pacific. And fourthly, we recommend Apple to plan and schedule the supply chain in order to prevent the shortage that will lead to customer waiting time, which is a non-value added activity. By referring to W9 and O7, actually there's increasing demand for smartphone, but the customer have to wait months to receive the product due to the supply shortage. Last but not least, we will recommend Apple to replace the wash production line with Ultrabooks in order to reduce the cost as there is no market share for the watches but there is increasing demand for the Ultrabooks. So this is referred to W10 and O6. I will proceed to ST strategy which the firm will use its internal strength to reduce or avoid the impact of external threats. Firstly, Apple can increase R&D efforts to, re to develop new features and applications to gain competitive advantage. This is referring to S6, T1, and T10, which using the advantage of R&D to avoid the impact of similar technology by competitor. The next strategy is to boost up its sales and global market shares through greater marketing efforts such as branding and advertising. This is referring to S9, T2, T6 and T9, where Apple can use its increased sales to reduce the impact of competitive market. In addition, we suggest Apple to offer reasonable price with unique features and emphasize its principle in enhancing product quality to attract a customer. This is referring to S8 and T3, which uses its lower cost to reduce the effect of product pricing from competitor. Besides, we suggest Apple to enhance customer experience in using user-friendly products to increase customer loyalty and create customer retention. This is referring to S1, T4. As user-friendly product can be used to reduce the impact from competitors that has more customer loyalty. Last but not least, Apple can use part of retained earnings to distribute an attractive dividend amount to the shareholder with the purpose of attracting more investors, which could increase the capital of the company. This is referring to S9 T7, as the increased sales can reduce the impact of lower dividend. Now I will proceed to the last part of SWOT analysis which is WT strategies. WT strategies are defensive tactics directed to reducing internal weaknesses and external threats. Firstly, we recommend Apple to develop several models of smartphone with different prices and features in order to meet customer special needs and to compete with the rival. This is referring to W1, W3, T2 and T3. Secondly, the strategy is to set up a loyalty program that gives customer discounts, gifts and exclusive offers in order to retain customer loyalty. This is referring to W1 and T4, which the weaknesses on low market share and threats of customer great customer loyalty can be reduced and avoided. Thirdly, we suggest Apple to integrate horizontally with PC providers such as Dell. Sony or Toshiba to increase market shares. 
This is referring to W3, W4, T5 and T7 to reduce low market shares, inability to satisfy customer needs and also avoid uh, competitors and relatively lower dividend pay. Fourthly, is to enter a joint venture agreement with Microsoft to obtain low cost of production and increase market shares. This is referring to W1 and T8. To address low market shares of its smartphone and large market shares dominated by Microsoft. Lastly, we suggest Apple to plan and schedule the supply chain in order to prevent the shortage that leads to customers' waiting time, which is a non value added activity. Okay, so let's move to the fourth metric, which is strategic position and action evaluation metric, which is pace metrics. So, for this metric, it is very important, used for the purpose of determining the type of uh, strategy that Apple should undertake. Under this space metric, it is a four quadrant framework indicate whether aggressive, conservative, defensive, or competitive strategies are most appropriate for Apple. Factors that were included earlier in the EFE and IFE metric should be considered in developing a space metric. So, for doing this space metric, there are five steps. Which is the first one is we select a set of variables to define internal dimension, which are financial position that we can see on the slide, and competitive position, which is representing the internal dimension, and for the external dimension, comprise of stability position and industry position. Next, we will assign a numerical value ranging from the positive one that is the worst to the best which is set positive seven to each of the variables that make up the financial position and industry dimension for the stability position and competitive position dimension we must assign a numerical value ranging from the negative one is the best to negative seven is the worst to each of the both variables Next, in order to assign the value for your information for financial position and competitive position, we have to make comparison to the competitors. And for the industry position and stability position, we make comparison to the under industry. Third step is, after we have defined all the variables, we must compute the average score for financial position CP, IP, and SP by summing the value given to the variable of each and then dividing by the numbers of variable included in the respective dimension. That we can see in the slide is the result shown that FP average is 3.4 and SP average is negative 1.8. The difference between them will be represented y axis, which is 1.6 positive. And then for the CP average, which is negative 1.8, and IP average is 4.0 positive, so the difference between them, which is 2.2, will represent X axis score in the graph. We need to draw the graph where X is competitive position and industry position, while for Y axis is FP and stability position. Then plot the average score for internal and external on the appropriate exit in the space metric where in the previous side for what exit is 1.6 positive and x exit is 2.2 positive and then we have to draw a directional vector for the origin of the space to the new intersection points. This vector revealed that Apple recommended for the aggressive strategy which is means that Apple can uh, make a product development or market penetration whether Apple can produce new product other than iPad and iPod or Apple can enter selling a lower price or make improvement in the product itself so that's all for the space metrics uh, so today I will continue for the matching stage uh, I will be talking about Boston Consulting Group Metrics First, um, 
Boston Consulting Group matrix is a corporate planning tool which is used to portray a firm's brand portfolio in a quadrant of four. So the first one is the question marks. So question marks is can be defined as uh, products in high growth market with a low market share. The second quadrant is stars. Uh, this means the products in high growth market with high market share. The third quadrant is cash cows. Products in low growth market with high market share. They were called cash cows because like a cow, it stay down but it keeps on making noise. And the last quadrant is dogs, which is defined as the products in low growth market and have limited chances of uh, showing any growth. So based on our case, uh, Apple from 2012 until 2014 revenue, they showed different stage of revenue received for every year and we can conclude that from the Apple products such as iPhone, iPad, Mac, iPod, iTunes and other and their accessories, the most profit product by Apple is the iPhone followed by iPad, the Mac, iTunes accessories and lastly the iPod. So based on the products mentioned just now, Apple BCG matrix can be categorized as the first one, the question marks, which is their iPad. So iPad makes a bit of money, but it's not reaching its true potential. We can observe that iPad brings the same features as an iPhone. The difference is that an iPad cannot make calls because if you want to buy an iPad with a SIM card, it will cost you more. Next, the second quadrant, which is, which is the stars. So, we can say that iPhone is the shining star for Apple product because these products are so successful and their growth rate keeps on showing uh, positive numbers. The technology today is keep moving forward and we are said to have difficulties in order to catch them. So an iPhone is like technology produced by Apple that make the user's life easier. We, we can make calls, we can do our works, we can, we can make our schedule there and mm -hmm. every sort of work and it is, it is very useful. Next is the cash cows. So for, I, uh, for Apple, the cash cows are the MacBook and iMac which have attained the position of being cash cow for the company because the, it has a low growth market but high market share. MacBook price is almost three times the price of a laptop. Why? Because MacBook have the, their own special software. When we buy a laptop, we install Windows but MacBook uses uh, iOS system such as Mac Words. And lastly, the docs for Apple is the iPod because iPods, uh, it was considered the next big thing when they were introduced but eventually it failed to create a significant impact due to high competition and low customer demand. iPod is just for listening to music and as we know that when we are in a car, we can listen to radio and then when we are inside our house, we can just open up the iPhone itself and listen to our music from the iPhone. So the needs of having an iPod is not necessary for consumer. So this shows uh, in a graphical B uh, Apple BCG, which is iPhone as the stars, iPad as question marks, iPod as the dogs, and MacBook as the cash cows. Next, we move on to the next slide, uh, internet and external metric. A IE metrics uh, can be defined as strategic management tool which is used to analyze uh, the current position of the division and suggest the strategies for the future. A metric is based on analysis 
of internal and external business factor which are combined into one suggested mm -hmm. model. IE matrix is a continuation of EFE and IFE matrix models. IFE matrix is a strategic management tool for auditing and evaluating major strength and weakness in functional area of a business. Uh, while EFE matrix is an analytical technique for evaluation of external position of the organization in for its strategic intents. Uh, the next slide is about Apple IFE and EFE score. The internal external uh, categorize uh, Apple in different position in the nine cell display. Uh, internal external matrix is dependent on two key aspects uh, that are total weighted of the IFE on the X axis and the total weighted of EFE on the Y axis. When Apple IFE score is 3.1 and the FE, EFE score of 3.5 are put together, they indicate that Apple should uh, show, grow and build stage. Okay, we continue for the exhibit one that I've already explained by my friend just now uh, about IFE and EFE. So the component is first is strength for key internal factor. First uh, is iTunes platform is good uh, revenue stream. So for the weighted uh, and rating, the score is 0 0.4. And then we continue for customer loyalty that makes the customer have a price sensitive. As you know that Apple have a um, very premium price for their product which is good and uh, quality. So uh, most of their customer have been sensitive in price. Next, Apple have also a strength on that they have no debt, uh, so they can invest more in another part of R&D. So for this part, they have also score a good rating which is 4, that makes their weighted score in their strength in EFE and IFE is 0 0.6. Then they have also that their, their score is 3. Next is strong in brand that is quite popular among the Apple customer which is as we know that Apple's um, success key factor is um, iPhone itself so in this part of rating they have a higher score which is 4 and then um, lastly in their strength is Apple product are hard to imitate which is as we know that uh, iOS uh, software uh, the part of component is cannot be imitated by another and very hard to imitate by their competitor. Next, we may move on to the weaknesses uh, from Apple itself. Apple is too much dependent on product launch. As we know that every product that uh, produced by Apple, they will have their launching uh, ceremony. So if uh, their product want to be produced in the, the market, they will organize the very uh, big event on the ceremony so in this score they score 2 which is shown that they have very dependent in their launch, uh, product launching uh, next is poor relation with other key players like Microsoft as we know that most of Apple application they depend on iOS itself and they have their own software so in the term of relation with uh, another party like Microsoft Google they have very we are uh, very weak in that particular uh, part and lastly is strong presence in only limited to few countries as we know that some of their product only limited uh, in USA and the part of uh, country only for this score they only score one that shown that they have very uh, they very weak in that part and finally this make all the total score we have uh, we comp if we compare with the strength and uh, weaknesses, the score is 3.1 that I've already explained by my friend just now. And then for exhibit 2, we also bring the latest exhibit and uh, comparison which is uh, AFE and IFE uh, in 2018 which uh, their IFE score is 2.53 and EFE score is 2.51 that shown that uh, that we can conclude that um, Apple need to hold and maintain what they have uh, currently. So from the finding, we suggest that Apple need to hold 
their product line and maintain their differentiate product and also they need to uh, push in the in the term of market penetration apple need to have a marketing effort such as promotion during festive season and promotion and the cut price uh, during certain festive season like christmas and then they need to have a product development develop several model and uh, new updated software as we compare as in uh, another uh, brand they have already far forward than apple like realme like redmi and also uh, nokia so uh, i think that's all from me thank you the last matrix in stage 2 is grand strategy matrix this matrix consists of four quadrants starting from quadrant 1 2 3 and 4 the x axis is competitive position which is from weak to strong and for the y axis is market curve which is from low to fast now we are moving to apple grand strategy matrix at quadrant 1 we have identified iPhone at Cauldron 1 because it has strong competitive position and fast growth market. Next, iPad can be classified as at Cauldron 2 because it has weak competitive position and fast growth market. Then, we have iPod at Cauldron 3. This is because it has weak competitive position and low growth market. Lastly, at Quadrant 4, there is MacBook due to strong competitive position and low market growth. Stage 3 Now, let's move to the last stage, Stage 3, Decision Stage. In this stage, we use QSPM, Quantitative Strategic Planning Matrix. This matrix is to choose the best alternative strategy for the company, which is for Apple. For the first step, make a list of key internal and external factors that taken directly from IFE and EFE in the stage 1. As you can see in the slide, this is the opportunity, threat, strength, and weakness for Apple. Then, assign weight and attractive score for each element. Attractive score can be defined as numerical value that indicate the attractiveness of each strategy considering the external and internal factor. The attractive score can be ranged within 1 until 4, which is from not attractive to highly attractive. Then, compute total attractive score, which is this can be calculated by weight multiplied by attractive score then the total attractive score need to be summed up to get some total of attractive score strategy alternative that apple want to choose is buy new product or improve the feature of the current product so we get the sum total attractive score for buy new product is 3.88 while for improve the feature of the current product is 3.91 therefore this can show that improve the feature for the current product is the best alternative that apple must be done so apple must make a decision to improve the feature of their current products so i will talk about the other considerations in decision making which including behavior cultural and also political. First and foremost is the employee behavior. The implementation of decision making requires the managers to change the behavior of the employee. However, some of the employees will be reluctant to change as they get used to the old routine and working methods used in the past. Moreover, the managers need to consider the skills and capabilities of the employees as the employees will refuse to get involved in the decision making due to insufficient basic skills or capabilities. Therefore, the managers should provide sufficient information on the decision making to the employees so that they are able to behave sensibly at the workplace during the introduction of the strategies from the decision making. 
So next, I'd like to talk about the cultural consideration in decision making. So it is very important to consider and understand the culture in Apple as different cultures will view the decision making differently. For example, highly individualist cultures promote independence and self-reliance in decision making. Highly collectivist cultures will promote teamwork and conformity to the norms of the in-groups. The managers will be given advices from the upper management when making decisions or there will be role models to follow. Thus, the managers need to consider the culture in apples as these cultures will influence the style of decision making. Last but not least, I will talk about the political consideration in decision making because when making a decision, the managers also need to take into consideration of the acts, laws, and regulations in the country. This is because non-compliance of these rules will cause them to be sued by the government, potential existing employees who are fired or not fired due to discriminatory practices. Bad legal and ethical decisions will also cause the people to have negative perspective on the company which will then affect the reputations of the company. So, as a conclusion, a company must have a plan before decision making. But, the organization must involve all the employees in implementing their plan. That's all from us. Thank you.